Hi, I'm Mike Goatley, a turf grass specialist at Virginia Tech. And standing next to me is Jay Hardwick, head golf coach at Virginia Tech. We're at the Pete Dye River Course, home of the Virginia Tech golf team. The River Course was ranked eighth in Golf Week's 2012 Best Campus Courses list, up one spot from 2011. And we're here to help you create a loan to die for. And we'll provide some helpful tips on how you can create a loan that is beautiful, but will also protect the environment. One way to benefit both the turf and the soil is to apply compost. Homeowners often make their own compost from lawn clippings and food waste. Commercial companies make compost from manures, sawdust, paper, or other carbon-based products. As little as one quarter inch of compost applied one to two times annually will gradually provide significant improvements to your soil. And compost works even better if you apply it when you're aerating the lawn. Compost provides a great deal of other benefits to plants and soil. It helps the soil retain water and nutrients. It reduces soil compaction. It cuts down on the amount of fertilizer you need to apply. It makes it easier to cultivate your soil. It provides better drainage and improves root growth. It improves drought and disease tolerance. And it increases the population of earthworms and microorganisms. Any compost source that you develop on site or consider buying should be something you can hold or smell without any worries. And if you're buying compost, one way to be sure you're getting quality material is to make sure it's certified. Go to the Virginia Cooperative Extension website for more information and to find your local extension office.